Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about balcony gardening with succulents and cacti and house plants. And I've got some really beautiful house plants to show you today that are new additions to my collection. And one of them is a wish list plant that I've been waiting a long time for and you're not going to believe the deal I got on this one. So stay tuned and I'll share that with you. Many of you know that I live in the Phoenix area and one of my favorite places to go to in South Phoenix is the plant stand of Arizona. Uh, they are not only open to the public but they're a wholesaler also. They provide lots of plants for local Home Depots and Lowe's and such and they offer um, the public really great deals and the owners are such wonderful individuals too. So I went there last week and because I had been watching their Instagram carefully um, because they post a lot on their Instagram as far as what's coming in, what's available and what sales they're having. So I went there last week and picked up a few plants and let me start off with the littlest one, okay? I got this Peperomia Marble and look at that variegation. They had quite a few of them. This is a four inch pot. It was $4.95. And I picked this one because I just fell in love with this variegation. Now this to me is a little bit different than the Peperomia variegated. This is more of a yellow creamy variegation as opposed to more of the white that I had seen before. I think that's what makes, distinguishes the marble one. But the variegation on it is just beautiful. So I picked this one up for $4.95 and I'm so happy I did. It's absolutely gorgeous for such a little guy, isn't it? Okay. The next one I actually um, had not seen before and I had not planned on getting another philodendron, but I saw it and it really caught my eye. This is the Philodendron Red Emerald. And at first I thought, okay, could this be like a Prince of Orange? But no, because Prince of Orange has a lot more orange in the leaves when they're first coming out. So um, they told me uh, that this is the Philodendron Red Emerald. And you can see the red stalks there this is a climbing one and I can see already down in there that the stock is gonna be climbing up so eventually I will put a uh, pole on this a moss pole on this to help that grow up a vine up but it's such a beautiful healthy plant the uh, leaves are so vibrant they come in a little bit yellowy tinge and turn a very dark green but the stems is what really got me and this six inch pot was only $6.95, friends. Can you believe that? I had not seen this one before in any other locations. I've seen the Prince of Orange at other locations and nurseries, but never this one. And on a side note, they did tell me Prince of Orange is coming in next week. So, I'm, I'm in trouble now. So I may have to do another trip out there to them. But uh, such a beautiful plant. And um, it's going to live right over here with um, its philodendron sister, Royal Queen, that's right over here. And um, that one I'm going to put on a moss pole also eventually. Speaking of moss poles, my next video is DIY sphagnum moss uh, poles, totem poles for your plants. So, you know, stay tuned for that is going to be the next one up because I have quite a few plants that are vining. And I don't want to make them uh, trailing or hanging because I keep hearing and seeing evidence of that many of the vining plants get bigger leaves. Their leaves are healthier, more robust when they climb up a pole as opposed to trailing down uh, in a basket or something like that. So that's why I'm, I'm making some poles and um, so stay tuned for that. But this one is the Philodendron Red Emerald and uh, 
from what I've read on it, it doesn't need a whole lot of really high humidity, like a begonia or something like that. So it's going to be a little easier for me to care for. And, you know, if it's as easy as the royal queen back here, it's going to be loving it here. Okay. So the last one, I only picked up three plants. I was good. The last one is the reason that I went there. Um, I have been watching their... Uh, Instagram for a while that they had been getting these plants in but you know me I I wait for the right price you know when it was $75 no that's way too much when it was $49 no I don't think so but when they had Raphidophora tetrasperma 6 inch for $20 you know your girl's gonna go down there okay I'm gonna drive the freeway and all the way down to South Phoenix and get this baby they had quite a few of them so they had just taken them off the truck they were still in the sleeves they didn't even have them in the in the computer system yet when i checked out <laughs> they were so new but this raffidophora tetrasperma look at the stock on there and it's got lots of root area roots there it's already starting to go up this one is going to get a pole also and I am going to be, um, Ross's are opening back up here, so I am going to be going to Ross later this week to get some six inch ceramic pots. I don't, all I have are terracottas and smaller pots, so I need some larger ceramic pots for these tropical plants. So I'm going to be going to Ross for that to get this one a really nice uh, pot to put it in. But in the meantime, it's just acclimating here. Uh, this right here is the newest leaf. It was still unfurling when I brought her home and it's opened up all the way. And I don't know if you can see it there, but it has a little leaf there opening up on that one. So it's in really good health. Some of them were a little bit tattered, um, you know, the leaves broken and such, but this one, after looking through them as quickly as I could, um, this one seemed to be the best. And at $20, I, you know, I was happy, happy, happy. So see what happens, friends, when you wait. So I know that they are going to be getting more um, and, you know, their prices are really, really great there. Um, I'm just really happy with this. That is another wish list plant checked off my list. Okay. Sorry, the air conditioner just kicked on. So I am so happy with those plants, friends. Um, it's a small haul, but a very special one for me. Um, two plants that I hadn't planned on getting, but were so special to me as soon as I saw them I knew I had to have them and one wish list plant that I had been waiting for for such a long time and it got it for such a great price too so that makes me so so happy okay um, there you have it friends if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up any interaction that you have with my videos helps me out as a creator so much uh, comment down below have you been getting wish list plant plants for yourself you probably know from my last video where I had two um, that I've been kind of on a roll as far as getting wish list plants and um, I did make a <laughs> a little um, slide here that I'm going to show you now as far as what list wish list plants I've gotten for um, my house plants you can see I'm on a roll for my house plants I've gotten quite a few of them and it's only May mid-May right now and then for the succulent and cacti one I'm not as far along um, but I, I know you know I'll be able to catch up fairly quickly when it comes to these uh, cacti and succulent wish list plants so there you have it that's an update for my for my list sometimes you forget what's on it what do i have and i just created those little slides so i can keep track of them i know it's kind of nerdy but you know it's the creator in me 
So <laughs> thanks so much, friends. I appreciate your stopping by. If you missed my last video for the haul that I did on the other two wishlist plants, I'm going to put it right up here so you don't miss that when you, you can watch that one of uh, plants that I got at Lowe's and Home Depot. Okay. Thanks so much, friends. Appreciate your stopping by with me today. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.